Hello my lovelies, welcome to my channel. Here we are doing the middle of the month love reading for all zodiac signs. This is going to be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Let's get into your reading Pisces. Let's see what spirit has for you guys for this month of July 2021 or the remaining of the month. We're starting off here with the Three of Swords, the Prince of Cups, the Three of Wands, the Eight of Swords, and the Alchemist, which is the Magician card. Okay. All right, Pisces, there are a lot of emotional struggles that you're currently going through. For some of you guys, I hear that there is, you literally have to do some type of healing in regards to removing the blockage that you're currently experiencing in your heart chakra. So my advice would be to meditate with a rose quartz, um, putting it on your chest, lying down and trying to meditate for about 15 to 20 minutes removing your asking spirit guides to remove the blockages that you're currently experiencing when we're talking about love and romance three of swords could indicate the betrayal or the carrying of betrayals from the past don't allow okay so i'm getting very heavy messages here so for some of you guys what they're saying here is that there is a need for you not to allow your past experiences or your hurts and betrayals that you've experienced in life, to not allow them to harden your heart, Pisces. Um, I see you guys vibrating from an energy of resentment. I see you guys even speaking in a very negative way, um, not just when we're talking about love, but, you know, proactively going out of your way to be nasty or to offend a partner, especially if you're dealing with the person that has cheated or betrayed you in the past. It's almost like whenever you're unable to control your emotions, you cut like a knife. And what they're saying here is that if you are currently dealing with that type of energy or you have been dealing with the person that has, you know, hurt you and has let you down, um, don't allow them to be the reason why your heart becomes hardened. Don't become cruel. Don't become what I'm hearing is don't become like defensive about love or about other people around you embracing love. Um, it's almost the feeling of like you know, hearing or talking to friends and people that are currently going through um, the getting to know stages, you know, when you're all excited about getting to know someone and they're coming to you for advice or they're just venting to you and you're giving, giving them advice from your experience and it's from an experience of being hurt. Um, this can also indicate you being blocked like literally blocking yourself from embracing relationships because of the hurt that you're carrying. Um, yeah, so what I'm sensing here is for some of you guys, you're coming out of a cycle of being healed. But I feel that because of this past experience, it has made you more cold or it has made you more like it has really you guys I'm feeling like very heavy hearted it's almost like it could be that you feel these waves of emotion that come and go it could be that you're triggered very easily and like I said, you become nasty when you're upset or when you're mad. Um, and I don't feel that you're doing it on purpose. I feel that it's because your emotions are all over the place. I could also represent that, you know, with the Saturn retrograde that we're experiencing. Um, it's the past coming to surface and it's for us to acknowledge that and be able to learn from it and release it to the universe. And I feel that instead of releasing it, you're really like 
on this energy of I am not going to hurt or I'm not going to keep sacrificing myself or like people have to prove to me that they're worthy, which I completely understand, but it's still coming from a place of being hurt. Um, so my advice would be to understand that everything is temporary Pisces. Um, understand that if you are dealing with a partner that continuously keeps letting you down, in reality, wanting or hoping for them to change ultimately leads to us changing. And I feel that you're getting to that point or you're feeling like you're getting to that point and like don't allow them to have such power over you that it changes your heart that it changes who you are if you're unhappy walk away from what's keeping you unhappy don't allow yourself to like don't allow your loyalty to keep you stuck to people that continuously keep letting you down because with the Prince of Cups here, I see that the person or partner that you're dealing with is coming in wanting to, you know, prove to you something or wanting to make amends or wanting to um, make it better. But it's like after you've been hurt or after you've gone through, you know, difficulties or after they've let you down, can you really recover? And if the answer is yes, and you're really wanting to put effort in this relationship, then you need to understand that in order to heal, you have to let go of the past. You can't keep bringing up what they've done in the past to hurt them, to make them feel like shit because you're hurting yourself in the process. Now, you also do have here the three of wands and the three of wands is wanting or desiring um, for them to make the effort, for them to want to come towards you for some of you guys there could have been some type of temporary separation um because there was a third party involved and you're still hoping or wanting uh to be able to fix this but with the eight of swords you are not seeing things progress because you're refusing to move you're refusing to continue on with your life you're refusing to see something that you're not ready or you're not wanting to accept here with the eight of swords it's like you have these blindfold this blindfold on which you can remove at any point but you're refusing to do so and with the magician here the likely outcome is to understand that no one no one can make you happy pisces if you're not happy no one can fill the void of complete rejoice and happiness but yourself and if instead of them giving all they do is take 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 you have to make or create boundaries if you feel like they are not bringing you peace and instead they're bringing you a lot of restlessness a lot of heartache a lot of worries you are choosing to remain in that situation by not walking away from something that is toxic. And the magician is exactly the knowing that you have all the tools in your power to heal yourself, to bring to you the person that is deserving of your love. And though it may not be the person that your heart is set on, it could be something that turns out to be much better than you ever hoped for. And because you're stuck and you're choosing to remain there, expecting this person to change or exp expecting this person to prove to you that they can win your trust again, if you're not ready to let go of that hurt and that pain, they're never going to be able to do that. So again, what they're telling me is there is a desire to fill some type of void Um and the void starts with healing ourselves and letting go of past traumas or working through that um, to fully be able to heal ourselves and to fully be able to understand that you're worthy of genuine and true love, Pisces, that you're a very loving and nurturing person and that you're worthy of reciprocation and not settling or not sticking with someone that is hurting you because you feel like 
you've invested too much. For some of you guys, it could even be the feeling of responsibility. But it's like you need to learn to put yourself first. And if that person is bringing to you instead of peace, they're bringing you restlessness, no one is worth that cost because that cost is too high. Do you understand what I'm saying? So it's choosing you, Pisces. And if the person that you're with is not making you happy, it's time that you acknowledge that and choose to not be stuck in that situation anymore because ultimately you're choosing to stay there. Even not making a choice is making a choice. So I hope that this gives you insight. I hope it gives you some type of guidance and I wish you guys the very best. Bye.